I want to show a couple of lesser common ways to create subscriptions in a Google Reader that others out there might benefit from. Um, the traditional way of adding a subscription in Google Reader is simply to come up here, click Add Subscription, and you might type in something that you're searching for or interested in for a blog. For example, I might want to look up uh, teas of, of the world, and, and Google will present me with a list and I can go about adding those subscriptions to my Google Reader. Well, instead of doing that in the traditional method uh, or, or even clicking an RSS subscription on a blog out there that you find, another couple of methods that people could really benefit from, uh, the first is actually using Google Alerts. Now, I'm going to jump to Google Alerts here. I'm going to go down and click even more. Going to open a new window and I have Google Alerts. Now traditionally when people create a Google Alert what they do is they might search on something and, and one of the things everybody talks about doing is create a Google Alert for yourself so you can see anytime somebody is talking about you on the web. And then you, the, the standard delivery method is to deliver it to an email box and in that email box um, uh, you, you can receive it you know daily, monthly, weekly. Well instead of doing a search and sending it to your email box, you do have the option, if you didn't know, to send it to an RSS feed. So for example, I could do a search for Ron DeGiusti, spell my own name right, uh, you know what, in fact, let's do this, Ron DeGiusti, or, and I know a lot of people will spell it wrong, U-I-S-T-I, and instead of sending it there, I'm going to send it to a feed, I'm going to go create alert, and there you go. You can see I already have one set up uh, where I am searching on different ways that people spell my name because I do know uh, the different ways that people are spelling it for my Google Analytics and how they arrive at my site. Here's uh, this new one that I created. And you can see right here on the right, I can just quickly tap that and have it pop into my Google Reader. And now I've got a regular RSS subscription to something that's regularly searching for my search terms and I can put as complex a boolean in there as Google will allow me to. I'm going to delete that one right now though. And I'm going to close this window. The other method of adding an RSS subscription that I don't think a lot of people think about uh, is, I'm going to go back again here to even more, and they tell you to always search for uh, uh, you know, to add your own blog search in the, your RSS reader, which is useful to have. And you can usually do that by clicking the RSS subscription feed on your own blog if you're using WordPress is a typical way people do it, and they have the RSS subscription feed added. However, if I jump to Google blog search and do a search, not only am I searching, um, searching for search results that are going to return my own blog results, but I'm also going to find things where anybody mentions me on their blog. And so again, I could do a search like on Juicy, I'm going to hit enter, and there it's popped me up. Now, instead of uh, again just uh, leaving it like this, if you see, I click here, and right up here, I've got the RSS feed. I can now add that, add that right into my Google Reader. So I'm going to close that out, and if I go back to my own Google Reader, you see here, I got two of them set up. Here it is on a blog search, and here it is on a Google Alert. 